So we all know as content creators and business owners that we need social media. It is a platform that you need to be on, but it is also a resource. And last night I was talking and I should say speaking at um, WebPro in Daytona Beach and I was telling them how in your business you should at least have five platforms. So you want to have two main platforms that you're on where you know that you are connecting with your audience. For me, that's Facebook and Instagram. For you, that could be Pinterest and Instagram, whatever. You have two that you know your audience is definitely on, you're connecting and so forth. And then you want to be on three more just to show up. So you should have a total of five platforms that you should be on, period. Why? Because you want to have your content there because that's where you know, like it's almost like your hub where people are there primarily, but then you always want to bring them back to what you own. I stay connected with my brides because I have an email list. I stay connected with my video marketing community because I have an email list. I have a blog. Those things are not dead. I know some people keep saying blogging is dead and things are that of that nature, but think about what happened today. I literally was able to still reach my community because I have their emails. Now, do I have everyone's email? No, but the blessing about that is I have the right people's email. I have the people that actually want my content and want to stay connected with me. That's whose emails I really need at the end of the day. And I'm glad that I have them because they're doing a 28 day challenge to get over their fear of being on camera and the prompts were coming through Facebook, but I cannot post that. So I need to be responsible and have an alternative for them to get that access um, and, and that information. So that's just something to think about. And, and that kind of goes into how to best use social media and then tying into, I teach video marketing, but I also incorporate using email marketing into that as well. I have a, a plan that I use that allows me to stay in connection with my community, but I also blog regularly for that content, I send out emails regularly as well. So as a business owner, if you're watching this and you're kind of freaking out or thinking about like, dang, this blackout really happened, what do I do? This might be the time that you need to reevaluate your uh, additional methods and avenues by which you reach your audience. It is not the end of the world that these two very popular social media platforms just happen to be blacking out right now. No one can post, comment, even though within like the last hour or so, I've seen some people kind of post to see if it worked and it actually went through. But what I'm also seeing from some fellow industry business owners is that they can't use apps that actually are part of their workflow. I saw a fellow business owners basically saying that there were apps that I'm assuming either they have like maybe linked to Facebook and Instagram. Somehow they, they are being affected by this uh, blackout as well. It's temporary shutdown, whatever. I did read that Facebook has confirmed that it's not a cyber attack, but who really knows? I'm, I don't know. If you have like a gallery system or software or program that you use to deliver your images to your clients, a backup for you, honestly, may be to think about using a program like a Dropbox or a cloud or Google Drive. I know, I know you're thinking of presentation. Is this going to dumb down the experience? But as a business owner, let's just, just kind of stay in that lane. And I'm going to use the wedding industry because it's just easier for me to talk that way. Okay. If I'm a bride, I'm your bride. And I, and you told me that I was going to get my pictures this week. And for the most part, there's no like real, real emergency going on other than this cyber shutdown or whatever, right? And as long as your internet is working, which for me, I was able to upload Google, I'm able to get that on my phone, right? So at the very least, if I tell my bride, hey, listen, because of what's going on right now, I want you to still have your images as promised, but I'm gonna send them to you through my, my backup system, which happens to be Dropbox. I would feel like you care so much about me as a bride and that you still want me to have the best experience with you as having this as a backup, as an alternative, as opposed to you saying, I can't send the pictures because there's a whole cyber attack. Like that to me is kind of like not being irresponsible, but you didn't even try to give an alternative or a second option. And so that's something to really think about. There are a lot of things that you can do without a paid program. Yes, it involves a little bit more organization and, and system and workflow and knowing your workflow to use it without like a paid CRM. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying don't use them. I am saying use them, but I also am saying just like you have a backup. If you're like me, I'm a photographer and videographer. I have behind me at least 10 hard drives. And some of them are backing up a hard drive of another hard drive. And then I have a mega hard drive that backs up all of those. 
So my whole point is just think of things that can happen. So instead of panicking in this kind of situation, just think about, you know what, this is teaching me I need to have an alternative for this. I need to have a backup plan for this. I need to have this, that, and the third. So I just wanted to throw that tip out there. I know, like I said, for me, the, the easy example was using a photographer that's trying to deliver images. And so I wanted to come with that example. But again, at the end of the day, really think about your email marketing plan um, and your blogging plan. Email, blogging, of course, I'm gonna tell you video marketing and you can actually absolutely do video marketing with the combination of blogging and email. So, in closure, I'm Anisha Collins. I'm an award-winning photographer and cinematographer that also specializes in video marketing where I help creative and entrepreneurs, which also includes business owners, excel using video marketing in their business. And I will see you next time. Go kill it.